London coming with my new my new adaptation here I have this tripod so I don't have to stand there and hold the camera the whole time and I want to know what dream what desire what goal do you have you know I have a couple a couple that I have been cherishing for a very long time one is to climb Mount Kilimanjaro and another one is really, 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 really getting me business off and running, getting really comfortable doing videos. That's why I'm doing all these Facebook Lives. And today has been a day of creating tons and tons and tons of marketing videos. It's like stand in front of the camera, smile, say cheese, okay, talk. And, uh, you know, I came across a few years ago, I was in Atlanta, Georgia, shooting, uh, uh, I was on TV show, and I was shooting some um, TV shows there, and I came across this uh, wall near a music store. It was in Duluth, Georgia, and basically written on this wall in chalk, it says, what I want to do before I die, things I want to do before I die. And I thought it was just the most amazing thing, and I was charged for it for the while, and then, you know, my... My little, my little engine that could lost a little momentum and some steam and I realized that, you know, it was 2008 when I decided that someday I'm going to climb Mount Kilimanjaro and now it's 2017 and guess what because I didn't set a date, um, I still haven't climbed Mount Kilimanjaro and it's so important that, you know, that our dream that we don't die with our dream is still inside of us and so what is a dream that you have what is something that you want to to have happen you know some of my clients some of my past clients you know they wanted to live long enough they had been very sick um, with cancer and they wanted to live long enough to be able to walk their um, daughter down the aisle on her wedding day you know others wanted to be able to get on the floor and play with grandchildren and um, what is it? What is the no desire is too small and no desire is too large. You know, I wanted to paint and uh, do all kinds of things. And so I do paint. And one day I created that. Let me see if I can move this. That picture over there. I created this picture over here. And I just put it up just the other day. And it just reminds me of that calm inner peace it reminds me that wow hey I created something that's amazing and um, I like art I love to hike and somehow I allowed my body to get pretty out of shape and so here in North Carolina my newly adopted state I've been getting out in the morning and walking my dogs and it's hot and I'm like huffing and puffing as we're doing this hour and a half walk and I'm like whoa you go girl you got a lot of hiking to do and a lot of stairs to climb to be fit and so I'm challenging myself to look at the calendar and to see when would be a good time to climb Mount Kilimanjaro to fit that into my schedule and so you know there's just something that all of us would like to do there's some kind of dream and maybe your dream seems like it's so silly that you don't want to share it with others and you know those crazy rebel friends that I talk about all the time how many of you have those crazy rebel friends how many of you utilize your crazy rebel friends how many of you here's a crazy rebel friend of mine right there do you see him up oh, there he goes he's camera shy today usually he loves to mug for the camera up oh, there he is again Chester he's mugging for the camera and uh, I talk about those crazy rebel friends, those friends that no matter what you say, what you do, they're game. You know what I mean? And, and they even call you out there like, wow, that sounds really crazy. That sounds like it's an amazing opportunity. And sometimes they might just say, you know what, it really sounds weird. And I'm totally in for it. Those are the best kinds of crazy rebel friends to have. And... Um, you know, those dreams that are inside of us, you know, it's, it could be a song, it could be a story, it could be a book, you know, it could be traveling to a different destination. I don't know what it is. It could be learning to meet all the people on your street. There's just so many things and too many of us spend too much of our lives just wishing and hoping as opposed to actually get into action and making things happen and let that dream that you have become so real 
Let it become so big that it's what you talk about. I have a couple of friends that have some really, really, really big dreams and big goals, and they talk about it all the time. And here's the key when they talk about it. They don't talk about the not having it. They don't talk about the not having it. They talk about it bringing it more alive, more into focus, like climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. So I'm getting up early in the morning and I'm walking with my dogs and I'm challenging myself to climb more stairs. And then by next week, I'll be doing even more to get into shape to climb Mount Kilimanjaro because I don't want to just climb it. I want to get to the top. I want to be on the top. I want the view as the uh, sun rises as the, and I can just look and see everywhere because there was this song by Toto called Africa that was in the 1980s and ever since I heard that song, I just, you know, it's like I gotta be there. I gotta do it. And you know, this is 2017. And I not only have to do it, it's a must going on top of my bucket list. It's a must to absolutely put it up on the top. And so talk about your dream, your goal. Talk about the having of it. Talk about the making it happen. Talk about talk about it as if it were already real and set a date. Some friends of mine just last weekend, one cre one completed a half marathon and one created one completed a Spartan race because they set a date, because they told all their friends, because they talked to a lot of other people about it, because they set the date, because they made a commitment to all of us that they were going to do this. And more importantly, they made a commitment to themselves. And so I am making a commitment to myself as I was creating all of those videos today for marketing my business. I'm like, you know what? I'm, I am committing to climbing Mount Kilimanjaro and to setting the date. And so tomorrow I will have the date posted out on my Facebook page because it's time to stop dreaming about Mount Kilimanjaro and it's time to start climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. So wherever you are in your business, wherever you are in your personal life, um, whether you're in business for yourself, whether you're working for somebody else, what are some professional goals that you want to make happen? Is it getting a higher degree? Is it learning a specific skill? What is it? Is it getting out there? Is it learning new marketing ploys, new marketing techniques? Do you want to get really comfortable in front of a camera? Do you want to do a lot of videos? Do you want to take a lot of pictures? What is it? Write it down, write it down, write it down, and please post it. Let me know. I want to know what your dreams are. I would like to know how I can support you. I also have a very big network of friends. I have a very big network of colleagues. So anything that you need, chances are there's somebody, something that I or some in my, someone in my network can do to support you. So bring those dreams into reality. And what dream is it? And when is a good time to make that happen? Please let me know. This is Lisa. I know it's short today. I've spent a lot of time in front of the camera today. I'm just a little bit tired. So Wherever today finds you, I hope you're having a lot of fun. Take care. Bye-bye.